is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have a new series here on the channel and it's going to be the massive box series and what that series is going to be is we're going to be unboxing a massive box full of certain superstars and today we're going to start things off with the man the architect the beast slayer the king slayer seth freaking Rollins. So basically how this is going to work is I'm going to use this big box right here and I have a ton of Seth Rollins Elites figures inside of this box and I'm going to take every single one of them out, showcase them, tell you about the figure, the information about it, you know, uh, everything I know about the figure to this point and why it's in my collection. And we're going to go all the way through until the entire box is empty guys. So with that being said, let's get started with the first Seth Rollins. So I guess we could start things off with the first one right here guys. And this one right here is actually a custom fix up sort of hybrid Seth Rollins. This is based off of his 2015 WWE World Heavyweight Championship run. After he cashed in at Mania, he came out um, that a few you know a few nights after that, and he had the gold trim on his kick pads. He was rocking this new vest. He was rocking you know the gloves and everything. And this is pretty much his WWE Champion attire from 2015. And I really love this Rollins. We switched out the arms for bigger arms. We switched out the gloves for actually glo glove molds. We got the wristbands on there. Really nice looking Rollins. One of my favorite Rollins in my collection. Collection, actually. The base of this is the Wrestlemania 31 to Toys R Us cash in exclusive Seth freaking Rollins. Next up guys we have a fantasy attire Seth Rollins and this also has the Elite 37 slash cash in head scan and this was made by my man Burnout Inc. Chase. He is an absolute beast. I actually had this vision for a Seth Rollins attire and he brought it to life. It's so beautiful. I love the white, black, gray, and blue. It's just so nice. I love everything about it. Got the white outsoles on there. Really beautiful looking vest. I wish he would wear something like this. It's so clean. Like Chase has the cleanest paint in the game. It's just, it's just a freaking fact, man. Look how beautiful this thing is. I love the belt design. He killed it on every single level. I love this. It's one of my favorite Rollins in my collection, hands down. Next up, guys, we have another custom, and it looks like it is a Elite 30 and Elite 37 Seth Rollins fix-up. This is the Elite 37, but it has some newer arms, same glove molds that were on that other. We switched off the knee pads. We also added the little belt buckle look that he had when he first turned heel on the shield and that is pretty much it. Great looking Rollins figure. Next up we have a more modern Seth Rollins. This is the Elite 64. Instead of being shirtless he has the shield epic moments three pack burn it down Seth Rollins shirt. I think this really completes it when you consider the attire from the Royal Rumble and you throw the burn it down shirt on there. I mean how can you have a better looking Seth Rollins? Love that head scan. Next up guys we have another fantasy attire custom and this one was made by me. It also has the Elite 37 head scan. It is the Punisher attire Seth Seth freaking Rollins. He's got the Top Talents arms, Top Talents crotch, Top Talents legs, but I actually switched out the upper leg portion right here with a SummerSlam figure, which uh, we'll get into in a minute, but it had the SR logo on there. Instead of freehanding it, why not use, make it simpler on yourself, paint that red black, and then come in and add the white over the SR, add to the Punisher skull there. I'm a huge Punisher fan. He's my favorite Marvel comic book character, so I wanted to make an attire based off of Seth Rollins in the Punisher look. Next up, guys, we have one of my favorite Seth Rollins ever made. It is the Elite 45 Seth Rollins. It's got a the open knee pads from the TNF Basic or the, it's not the TNF Basic because the TNF Basic actually has the vest on there with the appropriate lines. I'm still looking for one to fix this figure completely up, but I do love this figure. I love the white attire. It's one of my favorite attires he's ever worn. Probably the favorite one that he's ever worn. It's just so clean, man. How can you beat it? I love it to death. Absolutely beautiful Elite 45 set. Next up, guys, we have another custom figure, and it is a WrestleMania 34 Seth freaking Rollins. I don't like this head scan, but he does have the blue eyes on there that I painted in there. I made this figure over a year ago. I would love to redo it or get an official one made. You know, Mattel never gave this one to us besides basics, so I would like to see this in Elite form. Maybe we'll get it one day, but this is all I have for now. I really do love the colors, though. I think the colors do stand out nice. It looks just like what he wore. I believe it's supposed to be Game of Thrones inspired or something. I'm not a Game of Thrones fan, so I think it's supposed to to be a White Walker or something. I don't know. Next is another custom Rollins, guys. We got the 2015 Slammy Award winning Superstar of the Year, I do believe. Seth Rollins, he's got the Slammy Award. He's got the smiling head scan. A little bit of blonde in there. He was still out with injury. He's supposed to have a crutch, but I never switched out that hand to put the crutch in there. You know, he's supposed to have a crutch and the Slammy Award. I paint, I used a Build-A-Figure Michael Cole. We actually made this on Action Figure Surgery Episode 6 or 5 or, or one of those episodes. We came in there and made this. So if you guys want are interested on how we made that it is live on the channel. Next up, the customs continue, guys. We have a fantasy attire blue Seth Rollins, 
and I love this one to death. It started off, I was going to make this into a Spider-Man uh, Seth Rollins figure, and then once I put the blue over the black, this is supposed to be the TNF figure, once I put the blue over the black, I fell in love with it, and I was like, you know what, I can't do, do Spider-Man, I love the blue, gray, and black, and this is the result, man, love it so much. Uh, I would love to switch up the head scan, but it still works for me. I love the blue and gray and black. Three of my favorite colors easily. Continuing on, we got another WrestleMania 31 cash-in set, but it is a fix-up. This has the open knee pads instead of the regular. We also have the arm switch, the glove switch, and the wrist gauntlets. I also penciled in some chest hair and stomach hair on there to make it more accurate to when he cashed in. And obviously, he's missing some accessories, but still look good-looking Seth Rollins figure. Next up, guys, we have a fix-up on the Shield Epic Moments 3-pack set. I hate this head scan. I mean, there's so many of this, but it's like the lighter gray. It kind of looks like what he wore at Extreme Rules 2016 when he returned from injury and attacked, uh, attacked Roman Reigns, but I did paint over the gray on the knee pads. It actually looks better in real life, um, but on camera you can kind of see how bad the grays are differentiated, but on the official one, which is right here, we'll go ahead and knock out two with one because it's the same figure. They gave us black knee pads instead of gray knee pads, so he never wore it like this. He's never worn, you know, the gray look with the black knee pad, so I went ahead and added the color to the face there. Oh, God, I dropped him. So it would be more accurate and look a lot better. So there's two Epic Moments Shield 3-pack Seth Rollins Elites. Next up, guys, we have a custom, and it is SummerSlam 2018 Seth Rollins, the Thanos look. He's got the belt. He's got the designs. He's got the SR, the Infinity gauntlet boot on there. I have not added the jewels or anything, but sweet looking figure. I like this attire. I would like an official one from Mattel, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to give it to us. They could probably give us the version that doesn't have the Infinity Gauntlet, like, you know, the one where it's just the, uh, the black kick pads. They could probably give us that, but I doubt they're going to uh, give it to us. I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't see it, but this is the SummerSlam Seth Rollins with another Elite 37 head scan. Next up, the fantasy attires continue. We have a black, pink, and gray Seth Rollins fantasy attire. This is the TNF, except I added pink line work to the knee pads, to the kick pads, to the, the lines there, to the vest, and I think I repainted this. They're supposed to be more gray, but I added black and added pink. It just looks a lot more clean like this. Um, I think I painted over some stuff here. I don't know. It makes the vest look a lot better the way I did it. I can't remember exactly what I did, though. I don't know. I'll have to go back or compare it to a regular TNF Rollins somewhere. Maybe right here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You guys can see here. This is a TNF Seth Rollins fix-up with the Top Talents head scan and the better arms. And uh, you guys can see the vest there, how I repainted it and made it look better. So I removed the stripes, and I removed the little excess on the gray on the black areas. And then lined it in pink. Looking good. Love this fix-up. Rollins, by the way. Next up, we have the Elite 52 Seth Rollins. This is a fix-up. It's got the smiling head scan on there. I'll probably take this and put the Top Talents head on there. But we are getting another Top Talents Rollins for 2019 in this same exact attire, except it added the belt and it gave us the old SummerSlam head scan. So the new Top Talents figure is going to have this head scan, but on this body with the belt buckle added. I wish they would have given us, you know, any other attire, man, the Royal Rumble or the the. SummerSlam or any of those attires would have worked better than giving us the same Elite 52 figure that we got like two years ago. So that kind of sucks, but you guys can see here, here's the SummerSlam 2017 Rollins in the red and black. People call it the Deadpool attire. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like... It, the figure looks more like Deadpool than the actual attire did. It was more shiny in real life, but it's a good looking figure. I need to uh, switch out this head scan with the Top Talents as well, trying to give me that fix up that everybody does. But you guys can see the red SR. We got all of that. Beautiful looking uh, Rollins Rollins figure. I love these figures, man. They're so beautiful. Next up, we have one of the more recent Seth Rollins figures. It is the Top Talents that looks just like him. I love this head scan so much, but one thing that I will say is I always have this debate with myself. I don't know which head scan I like better for Seth. This is more of a heel looking Seth, and I love the the, the pissed off Seth look. I love this one, but he, he's smiling, and I, I kind of want, you know, like a, a, a pissed off burn it down Seth. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'd love to know down below. Do you guys like the Top Talents better, or do you like the Elite 37. A lot of people hate the Elite 37. I don't know why, I, I, but here's the Top Talents figure. Really plain red SR. You know, I call it the Monday Night Rollins attire because he wore it on uh, Monday Night Raw in 2018 a lot, so there is that. Next, we have the Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins with the Top Talents head scan. He's got the chest hair on there. I used an Elite 45 as the base and came in and painted it up in that Chicago Bears-inspired attire. You got the blue, you got the orange, you got the white. 
This is, of course, custom made. We don't have this just yet, but I'm sure Mattel will release it since there's no like big time logos. There's no infinity stones on it or nothing to prevent them from making the attire. So they should be able to make this one relatively easy. So I'm sure we'll see this at Comic Con or something like that. Next up, we have an Elite 57 Seth Rollins, and I didn't grab either of my fix ups. These are just my regular Elite 57s. But uh, you guys can see here we have one with the entrance vest from WrestleMania 33, and then we have the one without the entrance vest. And I like this. I hate how they gave us this new leg mold. It makes his legs like spread out wide, even though they're a bigger, bulkier mold for Seth. The way they made the crotch, um, they're still on ball joints, but they made it so wide and the legs get really loose. I love the belt buckle, though. I'm glad they sculpted on a belt buckle on his crotch, but I don't know. It's, it's sort of... Uh, I'm glad they didn't stick to this mold because the legs get really loose, but... I still like the figures nonetheless. The gold's not the most accurate, but the details on this figure are great. I love the new sculpting and everything they got on this. Beautiful looking figure. Like, they always make the Seth Rollins attire, so I'm sure we'll get that Thanos attire, or we'll get, you know, the Royal Rumble, or those other attires that he's worn. All right, next up, we have two more that we've already seen. We have an, another Elite 45 Seth, which we saw, except it doesn't have the smaller knee pads, and then we have another Top Talents figure. I have, like, six of these, but I didn't want to load up the box with, you know, just a bunch of Top Talents, so I tried to grab one of every single Seth. Next up we have a Shield Seth Rollins and this is the um, only one I have. I have like four of these but I don't have the one with the ponytail. I think I used it to make a, a few different customs so I need to add that back to my collection. I do have the parts. I have the ponytail head scan. I have a few of them actually. I could take that and crack open this torso, add the black shoulders, and easily make this into that other one. I think it's Elite 25 or something, Seth Rollins, or maybe it's a different series. I can't remember which one, but uh, this is Elite 33 or 31. I can't remember the series on this one either, but I could easily make that ponytail one, but I haven't just yet. So this is uh, one of the Shield Seth Rollins. And then the final figure that we have, guys, is the Target exclusive NXT Seth Rollins from his NXT run. Obviously, he had, I think this is his uh, Scarecrow attire, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is his Scarecrow attire. He's got the nice uh, designs on there in the yellow and black. And I don't know why Mattel did this. This is where that stupid kick pad mold started, man. They started giving us the black calves. They did this with Johnny Gargano. They've done it with some other guys as well, I think. But I know it started with this figure. And he's got the black calves with the short kick pads. Like, why would they ever do that? Why not just give us the black like lower legs that you've given us on multiple figures and then give us the full kick pads. I don't know why they would do this, man. It's so stupid, but one day I'll probably switch out the uh, the calves and I'll add some regular kick pads and then I will paint the designs on there or something just so this figure will look a lot better. But I did fix it up. It used to have massive legs and massive arms. I actually put X-Pac arms on there and I think I added Ric Flair defining, or not Ric Flair defining moments, but Hall of Fame four pack Ric Flair legs and it made it look a lot better. I also added smaller knee pads. We did a lot of stuff to this figure. I also want to add an Elite 37 head scan or something possibly in the future, but good looking NXT Rollins. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first installment of the Massive Box Full of Figures series. Starting off with the man Seth Rollins here. Let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below some future superstars you'd like to see in this series. Would you like to see The Undertaker, Dolph Ziggler, Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, John Cena, Roman Reigns, all kinds of different figures, guys. Let me know some superstars you would like to see featured in this style video. Thank you guys so very much for watching comment down below your favorite rollins from this video as well subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you